This is the Yellow River, called the Mother River of China. Originating in the mountains of western China, it flows for nearly 5,500 kilometers across nine provinces in this vast country. The Yellow River is also known as the Cradle of Chinese Civilization. It has been associated with China's power and prosperity for thousands of years. And today, it's once again helping China to march forward as an economic power. During the past half century, the Yellow River Basin has seen much development activity for irrigation, power generation and flood control. But this progress came with a heavy price tag. By the late 1990s, the Yellow River was running completely dry downstream for part of the year. Because uh, with the development of the urbanization of industry and uh, so many wa uh, users use quite a lot of water, especially in the upreach of the Yellow River. And because we use up almost all the water in the river, so no flow into the sea. In 1999, the Chinese government authorized the Yellow River Conservancy Commission to implement integrated water resources management. Controlling floods is the top priority for the Commission and the local government bodies. First, we need uh, to prepare the water allocation scheme. That was actually a contract between the governments that uh, tell us how much water should be allocated to each province. And uh, then we build structures such as diversion gates. And we build monitoring system and the gauge station at the diversion gates. The information gathered allows real-time decisions to be made on controlling the river flow. We will allocate the water to these provinces based on their demand, their requirement for water supply. And we use this remote control technology we can control from this commanding center. But other big problems remain. Every year, the Yellow River carries a very large volume of mud and sand. This is a result of soil erosion upstream which is being addressed by a conservation agriculture project implemented by Chinese researchers with international partners. It's being supported under the CGIAR Challenge Program on Water and Food. We are visiting Luoyang in the southeastern Chinese province of Henan. These are dry lands where farming is done mostly with rainwater. In a pilot project, farmers are being shown how to improve their soil quality and reduce soil erosion. Several conservation methods are being promoted. These include using mulch on farmlands and growing cover crops. Both methods increase the shade and help retain soil moisture. Reducing or doing away with farmland plowing is another approach. Uh, 一个方面就是通过不同的小区实验，鉴定和筛选出十一我们这个地区所应用的保护性工作技术。第二个方面就是把筛选出来的保护性工作技术应用到农民中去，应用到农村中去，在生产上进行示范和推广应用。This knowledge is disseminated through lectures and demonstrations. Participating farmers are already deriving benefits from conservation farming. They now get more out of their limited water supplies and have a greater choice of crops to cultivate. These measures are also producing downstream benefits. The waterways now carry less sediment and water flows more steadily into rivers. Some farmers are clearly enthusiastic.